man-made global warming will increase the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere and thereby increase the risk of river floods all around the globe. This will affect people directly, um, but it will also affect the economy through the flood, uh, flooding of production near the rivers. Locally, China is most strongly affected by these climate impacts and we expect that in the next 20 years, 80% more damage will occur in China due to this effect if no further adaptation measures are taken. This local damage translates to damages in other countries, in particular Europe and the United States, because they are strongly linked through supply chains and trade relations. The mechanism of this buffering effect is easy to see. So more intense global trade mitigates the losses of extreme events by facilitating a market adjustment. That means if a supplier is directly affected by such an extreme disaster um, and its production is hampered by it, intense trade actually increases the chance that other suppliers can jump in and temporarily replace the defaulting supplier. The European Union is well prepared for additional river floods in China because the European Union has balanced out its trade relation with China in the last decades. By contrast, the US has a very um, unbalanced trade relation with China and is therefore importing more damages than it can compensate for. The trade war that we are currently um, seeing unfold by the US administration with China and potentially the European Union is counterproductive in this um, situation because it might impede climate proving the US economy. Our study is based on the projections of river flood events for the near future. These are already determined by the greenhouse gas emissions that we have emitted so far. And now in this study, for the first time, we look on the global scale, not only at the direct, but also on the indirect effects of such disasters. To study this global response of the trade network, we built the dynamic computer simulation model Acclimate. In there, we built up the global trade network from real-world data and represent each sector in this network by, as a representative firm which tries to optimize its expected profit to deal with the shocks that occur due to the extreme events.